She signed the state's new budget, then shifted funds between departments. Today, Governor Gretchen Whitmer visited a West Michigan school to meet with teachers. Governor was talking specifically about new funding under the 2020 budget. But many agencies are afraid the governor's line item vetoes and adjustments to the budget will hurt their services designed to help children. 13 on your sides, Emma Nicholas tells us how some of the most vulnerable could be harmed by Lansing politics. We'll be able to weather the storm for a little while, but we'll experience ca some cash flow and revenue needs probably within 30 days. Adoptive Family Support Network is one of DA Blodgett St. John's 20 programs. It relies solely on state funding to provide resources to the thousands of families who adopt statewide. These are children coming from Michigan's child welfare system, from foster care. So they have a host of needs from attachment disorders to intellectual and developmental disabilities. AFSN's funding was one of many items vetoed from the budget by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. And so hopefully this is some type of a, a maneuver to get both sides to come to the table to talk. But in the meantime, it, it really feels unfair because it's like vulnerable children and families are caught in the political crossfire. Governor Whitmer says the misuse of dollars in the legislature's budget left her with no choice but to make tough calls. Now, is there a way if the legislature gets back to the table to negotiate and protect some of these issues that individuals are now raising? Absolutely. Whitmer said Friday that she is optimistic about the creation of a supplemental budget, a notion that CEO and president of DA Blodgett St. John's hopes is true. I want both parties to know that when you play politics with human services, that human lives are affected. Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.